crocheted a weighted blanket using red heart yarn and plastic pony beads. It's been incredibly durable through a machine wash and testing with two kids. Lots of pros and cons versus what's available commercially, but I think this is going to be really useful. If you're an artist and you see this, you have to share a finished piece. It's finished work Friday. Here's mine. Your turn. When you didn't realize you accidentally gave your plushy pants. a tejer 100 amigurumis en 100 días con lo difícil que es encontrar patrones de amigurumis que sean de calidad y que estén en español puede sentirse frustrante el querer tejer algo nuevo ¿Qué te parece descargar más de 100 patrones de amigurumis y crochet y tener proyectos todos los días para tejer con imágenes claras de referencia y explicaciones paso a paso corre al enlace de mi perfil Introducing the jelly fidget. So if you're someone who crochets and you're into those like fidget toys and things like that, you need to stop what you're doing and make one of these jellyfish. First of all, it's like a stress ball, right? It's squishy, it's nice, it's great. Second of all, look at this. You can pull these through, back and forth, back and forth, okay? So it's like a little fidget at the same time, and it's just amazing, okay? Another option you could do if you make something like this is to like connect the two pieces at the end, so then it could just be like an endless loop that you're constantly pulling at. Or you could attach like little beads to the end and just quickly and like there's no chance of it going through. Um, this is like my first time making this, so as you can see, like it's literally about to come all the way through. But um, I think I'm gonna make another one and kind of add the beads or do the loop or something like that. But I'm just, I'm obsessed, guys. Obsessed. I turned this into 27 shrimp. Customers to 
crochet bunnies, I'd oftentimes turn them away because bunnies are such a strange shape to crochet, especially the face, until I learned the power of facial shaping. Now I feel like I can crochet bunnies with ease and they're actually one of my favorite animals to crochet. So I added this pattern to my upcoming books that hopefully you guys will like crocheting bunnies as much as I do. I used it to crochet this custom bunny for an old friend. What do you guys think? Using our leftover fluffy yarn to make a new plushie, starting with the legs. Struggling before I even start. Color changing and starting the body. On to the head. So much color changing for the spots. Stuff, stuff, stuff. Making the ears and other attachments. Sewing everything together. So happy with how this little Neapolitan cow turned out. Mi hermana me encargó 20 gatitos. En amigurumi para su venir de cumpleaños de su hijo. Y no pude decirle que no. Tejer un amigurumi para alguien que amas. Es un acto de amor que durará para siempre. Pues un amigurumi se encarga de transformar emociones. Negativas en positivas. Y es un símbolo de amor incondicional y eterna. Además de que son simplemente encantadores. Si tú también quieres aprender a tejer y desde cero. Visita el enlace de mi perfil. Hold me close and hold me fast. The magic spell you cast. This is love young Rosa. When you kiss me, heaven sighs. And though I close my eyes, I see love young Rosa. When you press me to your heart. Aujourd'hui, j'ai décidé de faire un nouveau compagnon. Je fais toujours un croquis avant de passer au crochet. J'utilise le fin chenille qui est très doux et agréable pour un doudou. Je prends le crochet de 4 mm et commence par la tête. Je rembroque toujours au fur et à mesure. J'adore l'assemblage. C'est le moment où la bolouche prend forme et devient réalité. Un peu de maquillage, j'ajoute des saucines aussi. C'est parti pour le pantalon, mais je ne suis pas sûre du pantalon vert. J'en ai donc fait un en bleu aussi. Je lui mets son pantalon. Je pense que je préfère le bleu. Dis-moi en commentaire lequel vous préférez. Le tutoriel sera disponible prochainement. À bientôt Ich lerne Deutsch. For all the times that you rain on my parade, and all the clouds you gave me, using my name, and you broke my heart, oh girl, for goodness sake. Passo dentro de duas laçadas, pé duas de baixo. Aí agora eu pego o meu fio rosa Já dei uma laçada E trago ele Deixo ele aqui no meio E aqui Pronto. E agora eu Vou fazendo pontos baixos Você pega a laçada, essa As duas de baixo assim. Vou fazendo pontos baixos And I've been so caught up in my job Didn't see what's going on But now I know I'm better sleeping on my own Cause if you like the way you look that much Then baby you should go and love yourself And if you think Kak bikin boneka cili dong Sini sini ikut aku Sebenarnya aku udah lama banget ya nyiapin dua warna benang ini buat bikin chili as your request. Ambil dulu ya benangnya ini. 
sama yang ini dan untuk bikin cili aku pakai benang yang ukurannya besar nih bisa kalian lihat ya dia ukurannya yang besar beda sama ini ini yang kecil tapi ini pasti juga kepake juga sih buat bikin muka cilinya sama si cinnya itu yang warna pink pinky pinky aku ada juga deh warna pink coba deh tuh ada warna pink lengkap deh yuk langsung aja di eksekusi nih alat tempur di sini semuanya aku pakai yang ukuran Aku pakai ukuran 7,5 ya Oh ya yeah, betulnya kali ini aku mau bikin cili versi keychainnya ya Jadi gak gede-gede banget dan gak kecil-kecil banget Mungkin ukurannya sama kayak gini Ukurannya sama kayak Ruru Langsung aja dimulai Seperti biasa Pasti di awal kalau bikin boneka yang bentuknya bulat itu Dimulai dengan magic ring Dan diisi dengan 6 single crochet Atau juga bisa 8 single crochet Tapi kali ini aku pakai 8 single crochet Video merajut cilinya ini bakal jadi panjang Sepertinya teman-teman Pasti penasaran kan cili ini bakal jadi Kayak gimana yang pasti bakal jadi imut Dan gemes banget karena benangnya Fluffy banget guys Pokoknya teman-teman stay tune di sini Next video kita lanjut lagi bikin cili Dan jangan kemana-mana So you guys all know our beloved fluffy cows, right? Well, we had the idea to try and make smaller versions of them. And here's how we did it. So normally for making a plushie smaller, the easiest thing to do is just change the type of yarn to a less bulky yarn and use a smaller hook. But I couldn't just do that. We still wanted to keep them fluffy and didn't feel like me using a smaller hook would really make much of a size difference since we were already using a five for the big ones. So that brought about the difficult task of sizing down the entire pattern when i say i have not used the amount of math this process made me use since like high school oh my gosh i struggled i really really struggled it was a lot of work but i had to have everything in a way that still made the cow turn out looking well like a cow and long story short we got there many scribbles and crumpled paper later and we got there and after that i had to begin using the pattern that i really really hoped was perfect the first time out but of course it just wouldn't be that easy so i was making all the parts i usually would for a cow and altering the pattern and frogging lots of work and crying many of tears but it happened all of a sudden and honestly i don't even really know how we got here i had all the parts to finally start assembling my baby cow and i could finally sew them together and so sewing we did and the big reveal are you ready I don't know if you're ready. Ta-da! Meet our first ever baby cow. When I first had the idea of this little baby, I didn't quite think it'd be this small, but this is the cutest little thing my hands have ever made. But we'd love to hear what you guys think. How do you think they turned out? Should we maybe bring a couple of these baby moose to our next shop update? Let us know.